Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So the new iPhone is here. iPhone 14 has launched and I've been using the iPhone 12. It has been two years now. So I thought this would be a good time to share my experience with this phone with you guys. And if you're planning to buy iPhone 14, you will have an idea about how it is when you move from Android to iPhone and how is the long term experience of using an iPhone. Because you're going to spend a huge amount of money to buy a phone, you should know how does it feel after using it for a couple of years. In this video, I'll talk to you about the build quality of this phone, the calling and messaging experience, the software experience with iOS, camera quality, the battery life, the Apple ecosystem and the price. If you're new here, my name is Chisel. I'm a plastic surgery resident at New Delhi and in my free time, I like to make some YouTube videos about the tech in my life, the music in my life, some health tips with you guys, which I feel are important to share and a lot more. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to get a closer look into my life. For now, let's talk about the iPhone and whether you should buy the iPhone 14 or not. let's talk about the build quality this phone is so well built it feels like a brick actually you will feel like you're holding something solid in your hand i have used android phones i have seen google pixel phones as well some samsung phone as well when you hold such phones you feel like there is something delicate in your hand but with the iphone you are confident that this is something solid and it will last a long time and uh, i have dropped it multiple times actually sometimes it has gone flying through my hand for a couple of meters at least uh, it was always in a case and with a tempered glass so far there's not even a single dent on it the phone is as good as new build quality is absolutely brilliant five out of five for build quality i'm sure that if i take good care of it this phone will last at least three years more five or six years your phone is going nowhere till now in two years i have not visited the apple store even once because i have not had any problem at all now calling and messaging is what phones are meant for right phones help us communicate with each other calling and messaging is not good there's no use of buying a phone you're not buying a camera you're buying a phone which also has a camera so the calling experience on iphone is good there is no issue except one thing the dual SIM functionality. It has one nano SIM and I'm using an eSIM along with it. And I feel the dual SIM functionality of iPhone is still not at par with Android. Android experience with the dual SIM was a lot more smoother. I was able to switch between networks much more faster. On iPhone, I find it a little difficult to switch between two uh, types of SIMs. I'm using mobile data. I find it a little difficult compared to Android. But with a single SIM, this is flawless. The only problem I have with this phone currently is the dual SIM functionality is not as good as Android. iMessage is a wonderful app. Apple has done a great things with iMessage app but the problem is the other person should have an iPhone as well which in India is currently not a commonly seen scenario. WhatsApp messaging is great. WhatsApp app on the iPhone is much more smoother than Android. I have an Android phone as well but if I compare the WhatsApp app iPhone WhatsApp app is a winner all the way. Now let's talk about the software experience and whether the iOS software is better than Android. I can say till a couple of years back, Android was much better. But now with iOS 15, they have done wonders. And with iOS 16, there is so much more to iPhone that the software experience of iOS now feels better than Android. The best part of using iOS, it never hangs. You can take it from me in writing, your iPhone will never hang. In the last couple of years, I have never ever restarted my phone because it froze. It has never happened and I'm sure it is not going to happen for at least three years more. It's so fluid. There is no lag anywhere on the phone. And now with the 120 hertz displays on the iPhones, it's absolutely brilliant. And if you're spending so much money on your phone, you don't want to see your screen stutter even a bit. And I'm sure you'll be happy with the iPhone software experience. The disadvantage of iOS is that it works best if you have an Apple ecosystem. If you do not have an iPad or if you do not have a Mac, iPhone will make your life hell. Seriously. Do not buy an iPhone if you use a Windows. Windows laptop or an Android tablet. And if you're planning to buy an iPhone, be prepared to switch to an iPad and a MacBook very soon because you will need it. Talking about the camera, the camera on the iPhone is absolutely brilliant. I'm using the iPhone 12. It's not even the pro cameras, but still the quality is so good. You do not need to worry at all. Clicking a photo on the iPhone is as easy as it gets. And the quality is top notch without even thinking. Just swipe, tap, go. That's all you need to do. I'm a surgeon. We click a lot of photos in our operation theaters of patients and operative procedures. And with the OT lights and all, clicking a photo needs some skill in surgery. And with the iPhone, I don't have to think at all. All my other colleagues who have an Android phone, they adjust the lighting, they use the flash, they do this or that, something or the other they are doing to get a perfect photo. All I do is swipe, tap, go. That's all. Now let's talk about the battery life. 
I charge my phone overnight. I wake up at 7 o'clock and I disconnect my phone and I go to work at around 8.30. I use my phone at work as well. I use the camera as well, WhatsApp chats. There are so many work related WhatsApp groups. So the, I keep using my phone all day. My screen time is around five hours every day. And by the time I come back from work at around 7 p.m. in the evening, my phone still has 20% battery left almost every day. Obviously, I'm a doctor. I don't really play games on my phone. My usage of phone is mainly work related and some social media related. I am quite active on Instagram as well. Sometimes I don't like the fact that whenever I come back home, I have to charge my phone again. So I would prefer a better battery on this phone. And Apple has improved the battery life with iPhone 13 and with iPhone 14 as well. I'm sure they are doing a good job. So yeah, I think if you are a moderate user, this will easily last you a whole day. Don't expect this phone to run for more than a day. And when we talk about the iPhone, we need to talk about the Apple ecosystem because it's a part of the ecosystem. Apple iPhone does not work alone. I was an Android enthusiast till 2020, but the moment I switched to the iPhone and the iPad and now I have the Mac as well, my life has become so easy. I am never going back to Android. I don't need to think when I have to buy a new phone. I don't have to look at the specifications. I don't need to look at the camera quality. I don't need to look at anything of the phone. All I care about is, okay, it's been a few years. My phone feels old. Let's upgrade to a new iPhone. And with the current quality of this phone, it happens once in five years, I would say. Sync between all your various devices, the AI involved, it makes your life really easy. Well, after all, it comes down to the price, right? We all love our kidneys and we are reluctant to buy an iPhone. I was also reluctant to buy an iPhone about a couple of years back. But when I got into plastic surgery, I had promised myself that I will treat myself to a new high-end phone. And what better than iPhone. And since then, I am an Apple fanboy. I just cannot go back to Android. It is so good. But yes, since it is expensive, I would say if you're a student or if you are in the initial phase of your career, you should wait for the right moment to pay so much for your phones. I used to buy only 30,000, 40,000 phones uh, till a couple of years back. But if you are at a stage in your life when you want to treat yourself to a high-end phone, I think iPhone is the perfect choice. And even as a gift, if you want to gift it to someone for their achievement, I don't think there's a better option than gifting an iPhone. Apple makes your money worth, although it does feel expensive in the beginning in the long term it's totally worth the price and no matter how many negative things you say about apple and the iphones an iphone is an iphone my name is chisel you're watching the tech doctor namaste